Fabrica! Welcome to our Conuco. I have a quick update for you on the spicy pest control that I tried out last week. So I want to give you a quick update. There are definitely some don'ts and I'm going to show you what happened. So the night that I put out the powders, the chili pepper, cumin, and cayenne pepper, I was awake thinking that maybe the chili pepper had been a mistake. Um, if you know much about uh, peppers, you know that capsaicin, which is the ingredient that feels like it's burning your mouth, that is used on athletes, for example, who have joint issues, and it kind of warms up their muscles. It's also used um, with horses um, that need to race and their muscles feel bad. So I started to think if that feels like it's burning my tongue and it's used on human skin and animal skin to help heat it up, I wonder what's going to happen to the leaves where I spread it on. Sure enough, it actually hurt the cucumber leaves. Luckily, I had only spread the chili powder on the cucumber. The cumin and the cayenne pepper weren't that bad. They didn't hurt the leaves. So lesson learned, do not put the chili powder straight onto your leaves. If you have to, you can dilute it with water. But in the meantime, what I did was I rubbed off as much of the chili powder as I could the following day when I saw what happened. And then I added curry powder instead. So curry powder is very smelly. And between the curry powder, the cumin, and the cayenne pepper, the animals stayed away for about two days until it rained. And sure enough, on the third day, the animal came back. So the animal was not a bunny as I had thought because I had seen a bunny in our yard. It was actually a woodchuck. And now it makes sense because this woodchuck has been eating everything. So when I came out yesterday, I saw a woodchuck running away from me in our front yard and then when I got over to the cucumbers this is what I found. He had eaten basically almost all the leaves on two of these plants. Another thing you may have noticed was that during this video there sounded like alarms and other things going off in the background. Those are the gardening alarms that we have set up all around our conuco. They have several settings that include flashing lights, and different types of high-pitched alarms. Some of them are really loud, some of them are high-pitched. And we put them strategically all around so that as the animals get close, the alarm will go off because it's triggered by them. Just like that one. The alarm instructions also say to change the settings every few days so that the animals don't get used to one particular alarm or one particular set of flashing lights. So we're back to doing some powder, but not chili powder, and setting up all the alarms around. All of this until we can get a fence finally up. In the meantime, happy planting!